Hi everyone, Lenore, singer and voice teacher. Today I want to show you the best way I have found to open my throat. Nobody called it that when I learned it. It took too long before I actually learned it, but I'm hoping with this tutorial, you'll be able to remove some significant pressure that is um, activated on your larynx, specifically when you're singing. So for most people, there is a tension in the tongue, especially in the root of the tongue, and that puts pressure on the larynx, the voice box, where your vocal cords are. It took me, personally, five weeks. I'm just giving you a heads up. This might take a while if you have a ha the habit of activating your tongue while you're making sounds. What I recommend before we do any of that is, first of all, understand that we are working with the larynx. The larynx is not fixated on the top of your throat, it's wiggly. So it's very fragile and it's your voice box. So please do not put any kind of force. Be super, super gentle and super careful when you're dealing with this area because I'm gonna show you how you can touch here and like help basically free up this area, okay? The second thing I want you to do is make sure your posture is aligned. Now, a lot of people don't know how to do that. If you don't, I recommend for this specific purpose uh, to go to uh, either an Alexander Technique teacher or use the Alexander Technique app that I'm using. I'm going to link that below and just learn um, how to do what is called the active rest. Active rest is when you lie down on the carpet and you put some books under your head. Because if you don't put books under your head, you're gonna do something like this, you know? And then that's, that's straining for the neck muscles, okay? You need to put some books under your head to feel that the neck is free. And in the app that I'm linking below, there is a tutorial on how to do that. So go ahead and lie down on the floor. I'm gonna guide you through it. Your feet should be on the floor, knees pointing up, and your head is on box. What we're going to do is we're going to take our index finger and our thumb. Very gently lay them at the bottom of your trachea here, just at the bottom of your neck. Yeah, so you feel like one finger on one end, on one side, sorry, and the other finger on the other side. And now very gently you go up with your fingers, just trace the trachea up until you can feel that your fingers can sort of sink. I'm gonna try and show you. Yeah, so after I traced my trachea up, I feel like a socket. Like there's a hole on both sides. And I'm very gently, very, very gently letting my fingers sink in there. Now, I've practiced this a lot, as I said. So I can already do that very easily. Some people will be able to do that already together with me. Some people will not have the access to these holes because there is tension. So after you've aligned your posture, the next thing you can do is actually release the jaw. I recommend the pointing tongue. So that means the tip of the tongue points down and that helps releasing the jaw. I know it makes you think if my if my chin is here, then I won't have room in my throat, but actually it will help the tongue move away from the larynx. And that's what we're gonna do in this exercise. When your fingers are in these holes, you'll be able to very, very gently move them from side to side like this. Yeah, sometimes you lose it and then you get it back, that's fine. So now the next thing is to keep the tongue, the tip of the tongue pointing down and just breathe in and out, super normally. Again, I recommend doing that lying down because the gravity helps releasing all, all of this area. And what you wanna pay attention to is, is there any pressure going on your fingers from the top? If there is, that's your tongue pushing down your larynx. So don't make any sounds yet, just the breathing. And so for some people, 
the tongue really wants to contract um, just because. <laughs> um, if that's you, you need to stay in this phase for a day or two, yeah? Just put the fingers in the hole and make sure you can just breathe in and out without making any sounds at all and your tongue is not pushing on your fingers. And now the next stage, if you have established that, is to make the NG sound. So the NG is in at the end of the word song or sing or tongue. You have to go mm, and don't try to sing, please. Just go mmm. And if you're anything like me, your tongue is going to push down. So you need to figure out how to translate the same mechanism that you did without making sounds to the stage of making the NG sound. You don't change anything. The only thing that changes is that your vocal cords close, meaning you're making a sound. But nothing in your throat or mouth changes for that. Mmm. Mm. You can play around with different lengths. You can also play around with different pitches, but not specific notes. So you can go. Mm. Mm. And you have to take your time. Okay, so. I did this for a couple of days, only NGs and trans transitioning between the inhale, exhale, and the NGs. That's the critical part, because for most people, if you have tongue tension, that's when <clears throat> that's when you will feel that pushing when you start making a sound. And what we want to find is how we detach the tongue from the sound mechanism. Okay. So let's pretend you did that for two days. Mm. And now you can start by singing a little bit on it. Yeah? So if you can already do mm, without the tongue pushing, the exercise is mm, very basic, very simple. That's exactly how we want it. a lower voice you can go here and let's just repeat that at any point when you feel pressure you have to stop and repeat the same notes so for example here just pause the tape and go mm, mm, until you can do that without pushing on the tongue and then go on. Mm, 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 mm. There is no shame. There's actually a lot of praise in going back steps. So if at some point along the exercise you feel that the tongue is activating again, you go back to just making the NG sound. If within just making the NG sound, the tongue is pushing again, you go back to the exhale, inhale. A lot of praise in that, so do it. <clears throat> Let's go. Find your holes again. Take your time. super high here. Let's just do it. Go a little bit higher. try not to listen to the way it sounds, only to the way it feels. 
I can sing wrong with a lot of tension on my larynx and it still sounds sort of fine. And I think I got away with it. Don't do that. Really pay attention to the whole. Another thing you can do once you started to really be more aware of this is thinking what's above your finger and what's below your finger and imagine those places sort of go away from the finger. So you're literally opening your throat around those holes that will make it a lot easier. And then you have to renew that thought when you make the sound. Let's do one more. Personally for me, when I go to very high notes with a buzzing or a humming sound, in my head it sounds very, very squeaky and tiny, tiny, tiny sound. That's what we want. We don't want a big sound. Big sound means effort. There are other ways to make the sound powerful. That's not you making a big sound, okay? So just keep that in mind as you go through the exercise. Okay, so the next step, we're gonna go through the Italian slash Spanish slash slash Israeli vowels. That's E, A, A, O, U. You say them separately first. E, repeat after me. E. Ah, oh, ooh, and you see I'm, I'm making this gesture with my hand towards, like the hand goes towards me. That helps me relax the muscles. It's just a trick, bonus trick for you, okay? You can try it, see if it helps. So let's find the holes again. And let's do it one more time. Eee. Hey. Ah. Oh. Ooh. So the vocal exercise we're going to do with that is on this melody, and I recommend doing one vowel at a time. So. E Let's do it on E. Again, release jaw, and it looks weird. It's like a vertical E. Let's say it. E. Again, without pushing on the holes. E. E. Go an octave lower if you need to. E. I just felt my tongue pushing on my fingers and I did my thing that I learned over a few weeks how to do and you will too. E e to give a bottom line to the secret to not push down with your tongue on your larynx and, and pushing basically on your fingers that are in the holes. The secret would be do less. We activate way too much. We have learned somehow, mostly as adults, that we need to make manufacture the sound with muscle tension. So when you just leave your tongue there in the NG position and you just breathe in and out with your fingers in a hold, you don't have that tension. So you should keep doing that, which means you don't do other stuff. What will happen is that when you make the sound, when you phonate, your vocal cords will come together and that's within your larynx, that's not around the larynx, that's not in the throat. Those muscles don't make the sound. 
So you need to learn that minimalism and that's what's gonna help you. Let's find the holes again and go. Eee. 